I've tried to do this reading several times. Every time I disagree. Every time. Um, <laughs> freaking, so my coworker um, had asked me to do these reading, or this reading where I just like read myself. And I was like, Psh, easy. I'm just going to do that. Because I'm an open book, there ain't shit, you know, it's just, I didn't realize the kind of energy that were coming at me, <laughs> you know, sometimes when you ain't reading yourself, you know, you ain't, you ain't understanding what is coming at you, <laughs> I was too focused on y'all shit, um, and then some stuff started coming up in this reading, and it's like, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try this one more time <laughs> and um I don't know if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out um it's just so weird doing a reading for myself but let's see um I did make a policy where I was like everybody send me your request for videos and I'll do them <laughs> And I was like, I'll honor them. And so now I'm like, I'm honoring it. Reluctantly, I'm, uh, I'm honoring it. But, <laughs> um, let's see. I don't even talk to my own friends about some of this shit that these cards are trying to be talking about, you know? <laughs> Um, uh, Mahakali, all right, um, you can trust that what is happening now will give way to a new expression when the time is right, that right time will be the best time, when your readiness matches the requirements for success, attend your work with de determination and hope in your heart, trust that the divine is taking care of everything else, your progress is spiritually protected, all right. We know that, <laughs> right? That's easy peasy. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I am pretty focused on my work. I'm pretty focused on my divine work. Um, I put that above everything. I don't, you know, I don't date or anything like that. Um, and so, like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like, I just kind of do my shit. Um... Lost Lands came up and it says, um, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. I'm also aware of that. I've been doing some, uh, past life regression. Um, and you know, the, there's like some taboo around that. It's, it's kind of funny. Somebody had given me a book once called, um, The Taboo of Knowing Who You Are by Alan Watts. And, um, it's really true. Like, you know, the deeper you get into your soul memories, the more soul recollection you have, and the more you realize who you may have been or, like, you know, what you may have experienced. Because, you know, you just relive that life over and over, right? You, you just re-experience it in a different fucking, in a different map, <laughs> you know? But, like, it, you know, the story ends up pretty much being the same. It doesn't matter what gender, what ethnicity, like, your soul will always go back to what is familiar. Um, so yes, I have done this before. I've been a prophet before. <laughs> let's, let's continue on. Um, let's see what kind of alien I am. <laughs> Mystic Martian deck. I like this one. Um,
crop circles, messages, curiosity, and signs. All right, so I didn't get to tell you what kind of alien and I am. Um, I have been picking up weird messages and signs from the universe. Uh, one of my coworkers yesterday like sent me five 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 twice after pointing it out to me at work. Um, so I do know like there's gonna be like some shifts, some changes, some you know I've been bracing myself for this. I'm nervous about it. There's There has been this weird feeling lately where I've been like, I just randomly get excited or feel anxious about things. And I'm like, what is happening? It's like, all of a sudden, it's like a surge of like serotonin goes through my brain, some dopamine. And I'm like, what? what? I like this. <laughs> um, so yeah, there has been some curious signs from the universe. Um, I've been... Anticipating something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm anticipating, but I feel it in my soul, if that makes sense. Alright, um... I'm gonna do this deck. Um... See what we get. My friend Adrian gave me this deck. It's my lunar deck. I really like it. Um... I don't know. I think it's funny. It's all my Leo friends always end up supplying <laughs> like decks. <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of, oh, shout out guys. The sun card just pops up. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, Y'all are tight as fuck, you know. Um, so let's see. What is going on in my world? <laughs> Y'all are about to be so bored. Um, so, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm just focused on building a strong foundation for myself. Focused on the money. Focused on my stability. That crown chakra, though, wide open. See the lunar cycle over her head? That means it doesn't shut. <laughs> This means it is going on forever. I just, I feel very open to the universe. Um, very connected. I like it. I like it. Uh, Five of Swords. <laughs> this is, uh, conflict or feeling conflicted. I wouldn't say conflict. I don't do conflict. But I, there has been a level of feeling conflicted. Um, especially in regards to this reading. <laughs> um, every effort I've made to do this reading... Like, I, I was recording it in slow motion at first, and I was like, what the fuck? Um, it, it is hard. It's, uh, I feel like as a fixed sign, a lot of things have been challenging me a bit in my mindset. I'm a little fixed in my hedonism, <laughs> okay? A lot of, I mean, yes, I am a stoic. Also, I'm a bit of a hedonist, because I'm like, if, like, I only get, like, one lifetime in this, in these skins, <laughs> like, I want to enjoy myself. I want to live in the moment and just, like, you know, you know, um, I just don't think that this life is going to be super long on this planet, <laughs> you know, I, I want to enjoy it. Um, some people disagree with that, and that's fine, um, so I guess that's, like, the closest to conflict I've had recently. Um, Nine of Swords, this talks about being very guarded <laughs> about something, um, feeling very, uh, like, defensive about energies or whatever, um, it talks about fear, okay, like, okay, and I don't have fear, I'm an Aquarius, <laughs> okay, no, there's, there's been, like, some, um, with the Magician in Reverse, you know, it talks about also the fact that I'm very, like, transparent. I, you know, I don't, like, I don't hide shit. I'm not, like, super secretive. I'm, you know, I'm an open book, and that's what I'm doing here, being an open book. The defensiveness is in regards to my feelings, I think. Um, you know, I have just built such a good, solid foundation with myself over here in my little corner, you know? And it's like, I just... I like how life is. I don't know. I don't know why I need to feel uprooted <laughs> or like, you know, like anything dramatic needs to happen in my life. I just, 
I'm good, <laughs> you know. Uh, I know. I don't know. I'm just enjoying it. I'm just enjoying my space, my peace, my. It is what it is. <laughs> Sagittarius energy. Um, this talks about, I mean, you see that? That is Archangel Michael filling up my cup for me. That's my boy. I love that guy. Um, <laughs> also, um, also that talks about like the shadow work I had to do. Um, you know, I'm a very patient person now. A very even tempered person now um whereas before i was kind of like very chaotic very sporadic very collie energy if you will i i would not be surprised if that was my mother <laughs> because honestly like i get it like i get the the chaos and the impatience but i've had to be tempered I'd, i've had to like go through things that like kind of brought me back down to earth um if you notice there's a few angels in my readings here and um that's because i'm an angel <laughs> no i'm kidding um it's because you know i i am i feel very divinely protected um i believe that shit uh four of wands um this talks about like growth you know planting seeds and watching them grow um i also see like a measurement of time like four months four weeks four something you know um, with the sun there and just the way that these are growing it just gives me that that feeling of like four months I want to clarify it what does that mean what does it mean because <laughs> in about four months that's about how tall my plants would be if I started germinating at the right time <laughs> Interesting. Two of Pentacles in reverse. A decision will be made. Um, chariot says I might be moving or traveling or going somewhere. It's kind of true. I have been uh, planning a trip with my friend. Another thing I don't really talk about is like my plans, but since we're here, um, yeah, and with Queen of Wands in reverse, I mean, she is a Leo, so like that kind of makes sense that. Um, yeah, we were, we were planning a little trip. We were gonna go drink Mai Tais on the beach somewhere. <laughs> um, but, you know, um, yeah, so, I mean, that does make sense. I, I've been plotting for a vacation. <laughs> um, so, let's see, what else? Seven of Wands tells me a decision or like uh, a, there's going to be a shift in the direction of my life um, or there has been. There's like I, I get to choose like directions at this point. Um, two of Wands in reverse tells me that I've, you know, despite all the opportunities, all the options there, I have made a decision. I have. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I, I do know the direction I want to take my life. So, yeah, um, a decision has been made there. Um, I talked to the to the divine. You know, we made a whole plan, wrote it in the Akashic Records and shit. Um, the high priestess in reverse tells me I'm in denial about something. This showed up the last time I tried to fucking do my own reading. Um... I want to know why. Why is it saying that? Because I don't feel like I'm in denial, but it's saying I'm in denial. 
That's probably because I'm in denial that I would think that I'm not in denial, but I feel like I need to stop rambling about it. <laughs> okay, the full inner verse, so I'm in denial about well that kind of doesn't make sense I want to like let me see I want to add to this <laughs> I feel like there needs to be at least another card for context oh my god you know I am in denial and I don't want to talk about it how about that okay let's end this reading right now <laughs> okay no okay i'll i'll fucking whatever i'll just say it um so the fool in reverse was followed up by the strength card um so it's like Having denial about, like, moving forward on something or, like, not taking a leap on something and feeling pretty vulnerable about that, I'll just, like, kind of leave it at that. Um, just because I don't think it's going to happen, right? Because <laughs> it's, like, I'm in denial, right? Um, so, I guess, yeah, I guess <laughs> we agree on that one. Um, we agree to disagree. <laughs> um, I guess we will find out in the future who's right, me or the universe. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll find out. I'll let you know. Okay, Knight of Cups, it says some motherfucker is going to come in and try to give a love offering, <laughs> okay? They're just going to show up with their cup, just like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, I just recommend that you guys don't try <laughs> hang out with that. Oh, God, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so it says... With the Queen of Pentacles, um, it has that same lunar cycle over her head, if you notice. Um, it kind of brings me back to that Four of Wands, the, um, four months, um, and the Four of Pentacles over here, the way that the lunar cycles are there. I don't know, I keep coming back to four months, um, so I'll let you know in four months what the fuck that means. <laughs> um, but, uh, Queen of Pentacles talks about, like, um, like, just being a queen pin, you know, getting money, hustling, um, focusing on self-development, growing, <laughs> being ambitious, being a leader, um, also she has a pretty dope ass tiara on and her third eye is wide open, you know, so it's like, and her, I like that her eyes are shut, but her third eye is open, you know, it's like, she don't even need to open her eyes to see shit. Um, four of swords in reverse, alright, we got four, four, four. Um, I feel like that's indicating that, um, It's unnerving to me. This, this scenario is unnerving. Okay, that's that's what it's saying. Um, Queen of Swords. Yeah, that's me, bro. That's me, Queen of the Air. I'm an air sign. Uh, um, if you notice, she's got her sword up. She's, like, kind of ready for whatever, um, except the Knight of Cups. She's ready for the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords. She's ready for the Knight of Pentacles, but then the Knight of Cups shows up, and she's got a fucking sword in her hand, and she's like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, 
<laughs> He's got wings on his helmet here. And that kind of reminds me of the story of Eros, um, the god of love. He's Aphrodite's son. Um, yeah. Oh, gross. <laughs> uh, just showing up. Um, so, let's see. It's really not that serious. Let's see. So... What else? Let's learn about this Knight of Cups so I can avoid that shit. <laughs> Could be a Scorpio with the Death card showing up. Um, Nine of Wands. Oh, God. So, like, okay. With the Nine of Wands and the Death card showing up together, it's like they're, like, at ending a cycle of being very guarded and being in, like, some self-imposed prison. Um... Well, at least they're growing. <laughs> um, no, there's definitely an upheaval. King of Swords in reverse. Somebody who doesn't want to, like, cut me off or somebody who wants to, like, not be defensive about me. King and Queen of Swords are divine counterparts. I know if I don't say that, like, y'all are going to pick up on that shit. <laughs> so I may as well just say it. Dude, I've got hella tarot readers as friends, so, like, I imagine y'all are just over here laughing. Uh... You know, whatever. Uh, Four of Cups <laughs> tells me, like, I've got a solid foundation. Like, I, I'm emotionally very, like, stable, like, grounded. Um, already, you know, like, I don't need extra shit to be there. Um, I did that for me, <laughs> you know? Um, so, there's that. <laughs> Alright, so what is my advice when this shit comes through, right? I want to know, okay? Now I've got questions. What is my advice with this knight, knight of Cups? I don't do anything without asking the freaking divine. So, uh, another card. <laughs> I need more advice. <laughs> I need more advice. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um... Okay, all right, all right. It's telling me with the hanged man and the empress in reverse that I'm my own obstacle at this time. Okay, <laughs> rude, but whatever, <laughs> you know. Uh, with the queen of cups in reverse, it's like saying that I'm trying to run from my feelings. With the three of wands in reverse, because I got my feelings hurt, okay? Why would I run back to having them? <laughs> Um, with the King of Cups showing up, it's like, so what? Um, so we have the King and Queen of Swords and the King and Queen of Cups. Um, um, <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know how to respond. It's saying that I'm getting in my own way and it keeps saying things like I'm in denial and I'm the one. <laughs> like, okay, but like, 
What if I'm just already vibing? What if I'm just already enjoying life? Do, is, do I need to do things need to be altered or changed? Like, is, can consistency just kind of happen? Like, <laughs> I don't know. You know what? <laughs> That's it for the reading today. Thank you all for being here. Um, <laughs> okay, fine. I'll tell you what it said. I'll tell you. Um, three of Swords in reverse. It's like this person is not going to hurt my feelings. Right? This person's not going to like break my heart if I were to stop being my own obstacle. Ten of Swords in Reverse tells me I did the process of healing. You know, I did it. I, I, I was, you know, defeated in certain aspects and I just like kind of came out of that. With the Eight of Swords, I came out of that super defensive. I came out of that kind of putting a blindfold on towards love. And, um, you know, uh... It made sense. <laughs> it makes sense to just not pay attention to that aspect of life for me at this time. Um, I'm just good, you know, like I have like a rhythm in life and I feel like like other things are just distractions, you know. Um, so I don't know, whatever. Uh, See, this is how my own fucking reading to uh, Y'all wanted to know so bad. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess, yeah, I've been the one resisting the things uh, for a minute now. Uh, kind of like rejecting offers and stuff because I just have been enjoying myself. I don't know. I haven't been open to it, you know. Um... I don't really want to be. Was this card always here? Was this? <laughs> I I swear to God. <laughs> okay. Well, well, also there's the moon card. Um. Something's coming to light. The truth is going to be like spoken. Um, the moon card is water energy. And with this king of cups. There's that. Um, okay. So. Needs be for once. Um, okay, yeah, I've been a bit of a hedonist lately. Um, <laughs> I have, I have been enjoying the luxuries of existing, like fucking brownies, <laughs> uh, sugar. I, I, I don't know. I self indulge in junk food a lot, so I get, I get that. It's like. Yeah, I've been getting that message a lot from the universe that I need to fucking be better about that. <laughs> I will. Okay, um. The gift. Um. We all know I'm gifted. I don't gotta elaborate on that. <laughs> Daisy and the Dandelion. It keeps coming back to this. Um, so... There's that. <laughs> For the record, I am in complete denial. <laughs> um, and I'm comfortable there, so, you know, leave me to it. <laughs> um, uh, yes. 
So tomorrow we'll get on with some regular readings. Today I'm going to go reflect on this shit. Micah done fucked me up. Fucking having me do this reading. Like, I don't know. This was like the hardest thing. And it shouldn't have been this fucking hard. It was just like... You want me to just like open up <laughs> about life. Um, but yeah, so now you know how it goes. It's just me arguing with my ancestors for... <laughs> However long, 30 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, not too exciting. Um, I guess, yeah. I'm going to go reflect on that. <laughs> I feel called out. I feel like... I don't know. I wanted it to go differently. <laughs> I wanted it to just be like, You a boss ass bitch. You, a, you don't need no man. Da, 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 da. And instead it's like, You're in denial. And you're getting in your own way. <laughs> and I'm like, Well, what the fuck? I didn't realize that that was part of the way. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah. So, I guess we'll see. We shall see. We'll find out. Um... Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Namaste. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>